The last five years has seen an explosion in the number of jobs in hedge funds, especially in fund accounting in India alone. There are over 10 million people employed in different capacities across the accounting firms, across global investment banks, working on fund administration, that is, assisting the end-to-end -end life cycle of a hedge fund trade. These entities especially the large four accounting firms, the big global investment banks, as well as uh, fund accounting units are driving this industry to greater heights by employing large number of Indian graduates to work in the settlement cycle in different aspects of corporate actions, dividends, uh, calculation of NAVs, investor allocations, etc. I am therefore uploading a lot of videos on hedge funds so that when you go for their interviews, you are well prepared to understand and explain and crack those questions that they might ask at the interviews. Some of the typical questions that arise as what is a you know, general partner? Why is a hedge fund structured like a trust? Who are limited partners in a, in a hedge fund? What do we mean by investor allocations? How is fund admin administration different from fund management and why are there two separate activities like this why is fund management separate from fund administration which is the kind of jobs that uh, we will be doing over here why are funds structured like a partnership is it mandatory that all hedge funds should be structured either like a trust or a partnership and what are the differences between them how do we calculate navs what are the entitlements of the partners in a hedge fund to understand more about all these concepts, I will keep uploading videos on this topic so that we get a good understanding and complete analysis of fund administration and accounting. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a learning partner Sushila Hariharan and in this video we're going to deep dive into different aspects of hedge funds. I've already uploaded many videos on hedge funds. I request you to please take a look at them because from a fund accounting perspective, these are very important. Remember, we are talking about fund accounting and administration. I have not yet uploaded any videos on strategies, etc. Because that is an aspect of fund management, which is a front office job, about which we will be talking a little later. Hedge funds in the United States or in the European Union are broadly structured either as a partnership or as a trust. Okay. Now, if you look at the concept of a partnership, partnership means Partners come set up the business and they contribute to the capital. They also get an entitlement of proportionate profits and other distributions. Similarly, in a hedge fund structure, if the hedge fund is structured like a partnership, the partners contribute to the capital of the hedge fund and they get entitlements as per the proportionate allocation of their contribution. So this partnership is signed, sealed by a partnership agreement and therefore partnership structure is extremely rigorous as to what are the entitlements and allocations that partners in a hedge fund would get. Now all fund accounting jobs, fund administration jobs in India will deal with terms like this. What is a partnership? Very important to remember, partnership is where there is a partnership agreement which governs the capital contribution of the partners into the partnership and also governs the allocations of the profits as well as other entitlements in the fund. Then what about trust? A hedge fund could also be structured like a trust. If it is structured like a trust, then there is something called as unitization of the contribution. Okay, so let's take a step further into understanding what is the meaning of partnership. Okay, the partnership means there are two types of partners, general partner and limited partners. Now, in any partnership agreement, there would be in any partnership structure, there is a very comprehensive understanding of who runs the show. Okay, so the show runner, all right, is the general partner, the entity which appoints and conducts all the front office trading, dealings, etc. 
is the general partner. Then who are the limited partners? The limited partners are only the capital contributors. They have made investments into the hedge fund and that is it. Unless something dramatically, drastically goes wrong with the hedge fund, the limited partners do not interfere in the day-to-day -day operations of the hedge fund. Okay? So limited partners are extremely important entities because without them, the hedge fund cannot grow in size. Right? So in a hedge fund structure, typically there would be one general partner and there would be multiple limited partners. All right. So there could be between four to five limited partners. I have seen some hedge fund structures uh, which have even nine limited partners. Okay. So the more the number of limited partners, the more complex would be the structure of the hedge fund. And therefore, there would be a lot more uh, you know, settlements, a lot more allocations that would come if there are multiple number of limited partners. Sometimes there could be only a general partner and there would be no limited partners either. Right. Now, what is a limited partner or who is a limited partner? Now, limited partners are normally also institutional investors. Okay, a fund could invest in another fund. But they make large contributions into the fund. Hedge funds are billion dollar structured funds. If they are billion dollar structured funds, then everybody's contribution into the fund is very large. Right? Runs into millions of dollars. So typically the limited partner could also be somebody who has a, a large amount of capital contribution like an institutional investor, like a sports celebrity, like a film personality, like uh, anybody else that you could think of highly uh, successful entrepreneur, right? So these are entities who can contribute millions of dollars into the fund, but they don't want to get into the operational hassles of running the fund. They don't want to get into the daily jobs of trading in multiple assets, multiple currencies, multi-markets, etc. They contribute the investments into the fund and they concern themselves with the proportionate allocation of the profits and other entitlements. They are not interested in the management control of the fund. They do not have any management control and all this is clearly mentioned in that partnership agreement. The liability of the partner is, is limited to the extent of the capital contribution. So if the hedge fund makes limited, is, makes, uh, keeps making repeated losses, then you have to pay expenses, right, for the salaries, etc. The limited partners don't take on the expenses of losses, right? Because they say that we are limited, our liability is limited to the extent of capital. So limited partners operate merely as capital contributors into a hedge fund. What about general partner? General partner manages the fund. In fact, man, general partner is the operating entity and they set up the fund, right? The general partner is the one who sets up the fund, constructs it according to the asset management company, takes necessary approvals from the entities who are required, runs the show, appoints the fund manager, appoints the team, appoints the transfer agent, the custodian, etc., etc. So the general partner is the operating entity in a hedge fund. They have full and complete management control. And in many cases in a hedge fund, the general partner is typically also the one who makes the maximum capital contribution into the hedge fund. Okay. So because they bring in such a large amount of capital into the hedge fund, the other partners also get convinced about the necessity for or the uniqueness of the hedge fund and therefore also make an investment into the hedge fund. The general partner called as a GP is responsible for profit generation of the hedge fund. So general partners are, general partner is very, very important entity in terms of execution of trading strategies, ideas, etc, etc. If the hedge fund is structured like a partnership, we have something called as investor allocation. At this point, I would like to thank the three to four people on my LinkedIn fam who have been very, very helpful to me while explaining to me investor allocation. Okay. Let's say the hedge fund is a total size of a billion dollars. Okay. Limited partner one makes a contribution of $200 million. LP two 
makes a contribution of $100 million. LP3 makes a contribution of $200 million. And the GB makes a contribution of $500 million. So totally, the fund now has become a size of a hundred of thousand million dollars, it's a billion dollars. In this same proportion, the proportionate allocation takes place. So the first LP1 has 200 million divided by 1 billion, that's a 20% allocation. LP2 is 100 million divided by 1 billion, that's 10%. And so on and so forth. So as you can see, general partners are generally the entity who contribute the maximum capital. And on the basis of the strength of the general partners' capital contribution only, the other limited partners also make contribution. Now this proportionate allocation, this that is THIS, is sealed in the partnership agreement and will not change unless additional capital comes in or a new partner comes in, which is possible. Or else, this 20% for LP1, 10% for LP2, 20% for LP3, GP gets 50% is signed and sealed. And this proportionate allocation, uh, what I mean is, the proportionate allocation is now fixed for any other kind of profit allocation as well as corporate actions that the hedge fund will enjoy from its investment that it has made. Okay, keeping this in mind, let's take a look at what happens if a hedge fund which is structured like a partnership makes a profit of $120 million. Remember the proportions, 20% for LP1, 30% for LP2, 20% for LP3 and 50% for, L for the GP. So what would be the profit allocation of $120 million that the hedge fund makes? What would be the allocation to each of the partners? Please post your comments. Uh, please post your answers in the comment section below because I want you all to think also, right? You all also can help me out. <laughs> if I give all the answers, then uh, it would be very, very uh, rote learning. So think and then let me know what would be the answers by posting your answers in the comment section. Sometimes a hedge fund, especially offshore hedge funds in the United States, are structured like a trust. The minute we talk of trust, equivalent is the mutual fund in India. The capital contribution is unitized. That is the only uh, similarity between a mutual fund and a hedge fund. That is every contribution made by the partner is unitized. So now there is no LPGP situation. Okay, there is only one asset management company which runs the hedge fund. Uh, if you have already taken a look at the video I've uploaded on Master Feeder, there would be like a trust structure. Investors are allocated units as per the contribution into the hedge fund. What is the price at which the investor can invest or redeem? So, if a hedge fund is structured like a trust, investors are allowed to invest at different points of time. And that is the price at which they could invest. That is the NAV or the net asset value. Let's take a look at a very simplistic uh, calculation of NAV. Let's say the hedge fund has made investments worth $100 million. It has got liabilities worth $10 million. The net assets is $100 million minus $10 million. That gives us $10, $90 million. Okay. So the net assets is $90 million. The number of units is... Uh, how much is that? Why is the, okay. <laughs> the number of units is 10 million units. Therefore, the NAV is 90 million divided by 10 million. That is $9. All right. So, the NAV is calculated on a daily basis and investors are allowed to invest. If they are a daily, daily dealing fund, they can invest and redeem on a daily basis. If they are a monthly dealing fund, then as per the dates that are allocated. So in a hedge fund, there could be two structures. The first structure is that of a partnership. The second structure is that of a trust. If it's a partnership, then there is investor allocations. If it is a trust, then it is as per the NAV. The NAV formula is the same. Of course, there are many, many challenges while calculating what is the fund assets. Remember, 
this uh, hedge fund operations are still not as severely regulated as let's say the mutual fund industry is and therefore accounting has evolved for the calculation of hedge fund assets we'll be discussing some of the nav challenges in a few slides from now in a few uh, presentations from now because it's very important to remember what happens if you do a trade doesn't get settled etc how does the hedge fund capture that data so the nav value is the total fund assets excluding land and building etc minus the fund liabilities divided by the total number of outstanding units keeping this formula in mind we have uh, discussed the previous slide also as to how the net assets are first calculated and then we divide it by the total number of outstanding units we get what is called as the nav finally what is fund management versus fund administration fund management is the front office job of asset management company the fund management industry is huge okay the largest the, the top 3 largest funds in the united states run over trillion dollar assets under management okay so because this is the size of the industry there is global trades in multiple currencies and multiple assets and multiple markets the industry is very huge there are governing laws there are accounting standards all that has to be maintained by the fund administration therefore most hedge funds have bifurcated the fund industry the fund activities into two fund accounting and fund administration fund uh, management and fund administration i'm sorry fund management is the one that looks at trading and investing in different asset classes the fund administration looks at the very important job of settlements without completing the settlements fund management can do no further trades right so the fund administration has needs people who are very good in accounting who are having thorough understanding of accounting standards and are comprehending what are the global markets and how do markets work so fund administration jobs require not only knowledge of markets as well as knowledge of fund accounting as well so in this channel global markets we talk about operations processes and regulations across four different sectors fund accounting trade life cycle otc derivatives and custodian operations thank you so much if you like the content hit the like button share subscribe and comment especially i'm waiting to see your answers on the question of investor allocation that i have posted my very best wishes to all of you and thank you so much